Hey everybody, we're going to be taking a look at this historic matchup between Wayne Hills and Old Japan, 1998. Both teams were undefeated, 4-0. We had just watched, watched the game tape of Old Japan decimate Indian Hills. I remember Plaza and Arzenis were two of the top three scorers in the state of New Jersey. There's AJ Spicer, our tailback, returning the kickoff. Now, the, now I'm number 70, and I, what I remember here was, oh crap, Old Japan is as fast as Ramapo was the year before we hadn't played Ramapo yet and these opening plays there's number 56 Adrian Greenberg great defensive tackle and I was like We're, this is gonna be an interesting game because I remember the team speed of Ramapo the year before and that's what I saw these first few plays and so a, a toss like that to AJ it was going to be tough to get yardage on with really fast guys on uh, on defense. So I think we're running a counter there. We're already behind in yardage because of the penalties. And we knew we were going to have a tough game. This was a huge test for us. Coach Riker was, was our head coach at the time because Coach Olsen was um, not coaching due, due to some conflicts the first few games. He wasn't there. So here's Coach Riker trying to get creative with the halfback toss right in the beginning. And it's pretty much three and out. It's not really three and out, but that's what it seems like. With the penalties, it's a little bit more. So, in the beginning here, Old Japan is, is strong. And we're forced to punt. Tommy Lyons, the punter. I think Mark Dandy was snapping back then. Either Mark or Gary Webb. And we were very scared of getting the ball into, or allowing the ball to get in the hands of number nine. Number nine is Fred Plaza, they're running the wing tee. And that's a belly lead, at least that's what we would call it. And uh, the outside linebacker said, Tom Brophy said, we didn't really have an answer for that play because of our reads, but the old Japan coach did not pick up that the belly lead would, would work better than the buck sweep. Now there's Fred Plaza, you can tell. He's, he's the fastest guy on the field, number nine. And uh, there I make a tackle on number 70, Steve Makalinski. He tried to run at me with uh, Will Arzenis, I believe, is number 27. That wasn't going to work. Will, Will did not have a great night. Um, and I'm saying that because he had several times where I had the pleasure of blocking him. He played middle linebacker, but was really a more talented uh, defensive back, in my opinion. And now they're belly lead our way, and that's not going to work. Great play by Mark Danby, number 50. And Old Japan had a pretty good offensive line. They had excellent athletes. Like I said, Adrian Greenberg was very strong. Here's Plaza. Now he gets the ball, and you can see he's like... He's like uh, fast forward, everybody's in regular speed, or we're all in slow motion compared to Fred. Looks like there's a flag on the play. I remember telling the ref that they were holding me, and I think we got the call. I think we got the call. Because of that. Now here's a draw. And 
Ooh, huge, huge turn of events. Right in the first quarter, Gary, Gary Webb seems like he got the football. Um, great strip by Mike Toglia. Um, and as you could tell, Fred was getting yards, um, but a big play by our defense. Now, we, we changed our normal play, which was an ISO, which was a fullback lead of the tailback and the isolation of the middle linebacker. And before the game or during the week, we decided to tell the fullback to go the opposite way and bet that the defense would read on the fullback, which they did. And you saw that huge gain by A.J. Spicer two plays ago. They're keying on the fullback. That was a play to 26, Mike Toglia. They're keying on the fullback here. And so Mike doesn't get any yards. He gets maybe a yard and a half, two yards. But we've got some momentum, not like the first drive. And it looks like we've got a double tight end eye. And there we go again with, instead of the ISO, the, I uh, can't remember what we called it. But instead of the ISO, it was really just a, a mislead. Now we got some momentum. We were very physical up front. Very physical. Every single guy on our offensive line was solid. And in our division, that was rare. And even in, uh, over the years, uh, if you look at offensive, line, offensive lines, um, this was a very great offensive line for Wayne Hills up until that point in the late 90s. Several of us had started the year before so we had experience. Looks like we're going single back counter. That that was that was a disaster. Great play by the defensive end, I think, following the pull. And now we're the option. This was very difficult for people to defend because number three, Mark Robinson, was very fast. Um, you see, he gives a late pitch. AJ's a little behind, but it's a pretty successful play. Mark was a very quick quarterback. And this is this is one, one of AJ's best runs of the year. Um, really solid play. Uh, just runs over guys and through the defense. Good blocking. And here's a, that, that's a that's a big confidence booster. For us because this was the biggest challenge we, we had that year up to this point and um, we, you know we, we really didn't know Ultapan was was beat us our freshman year they, they actually killed us and um, they were undefeated this season and were really wrecking teams Tom Lines was our kicker did a great job, um, had, a, had a strong leg, so he could actually get field goals, which back then were, were pretty rare for high school. This was 24 years ago. Um, you could even see the old goal posts, which were very short. <clears throat> Kicking game was uh, still developing at the high school level back then. Now, it looks like Old Japan gets some pretty good field position. You can see how quick the the, uh, the offensive backs were. Um, gets hit and then jumps forward for five yards pretty fast. So it looks like we got about a second and five. I think Adrian's the center. He was a very strong offensive and defensive lineman. And there's that belly play, uh, just totally eaten up by Tom Brophy, number 37. So it looks like they're in that formation where they ran the draw. But it looks like a stretch, and Todd Greenberg 
in the beginning of the game struggled with that play, number 32, and we made a correction, and then he just totally shut it down in the second half, I remember. There was uh, Old Japan trying to run directly at me, and that did not work. I really enjoyed playing against them because I understood the wing tee very well and I could get in the backfield like right there, go right through the line, the guards telegraphed everything and it, it was a lot of fun. So now it's looks like a belly pass or some sort on third down, third and 15, and there's a lot of pressure and Old Japan has to kick. So they don't get many yards, unlike their first drive. They're about to punt, and we're going to get the ball for the third time with pretty decent field position ourselves, and I'm going to stop it there.